Well, I made it to the bay. I don't know if I find anything or not, but I'm here. Target is an iffy, iffy, iffy target. But there's a lot of targets around here that are iffy because of the iron. I see mostly rocks. I think it's just a piece of chunky iron making a funny sound. We'll give it one more try. Yeah, I think that's just a false alarm, all. Oh, eight. Might be a bullet, 22. Because we got it. I see no 1208s though. All I see is rocks. No 1208. Could be I might have missed it too. It's still there. color to it but that's it about 10 scoots later it's a nickel 1215 I thought that's what it was nineteen forty one no it might be sixty one sixty one I think Twelve oh seven. Twenty two, twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty two. So it's going to be a big quarter. I just seem to be a big silver ring. Or a silver quarter. No, it's a damn clad quarter. Look at that ticket. Clad. 12.06. Oh, I see it. 22, mashed up. Let's see what 44 is. Whatever it is, it's still in the hole. It ain't no water. We got it. 
come on here. I think we got it. No 1244. I don't see anything. Mud. A few little meager rocks. No 1244. Let's give it another try. Stand by. Better than a stick in the eye. 1208, 1210, Jumpery. 1209 now. I know it sounds good, I don't know what it's going to be. We might have it. See it sticking through the side there? Piece of wire. Look at that. Ha! Twelve oh four yields nothing. Let's try it again. Twelve oh four. I see a lot of mud. I don't see no 1204s of any kind. Let's scan around, see if we can find it. It might have fell out or something, you know. There it is, right there. 12.05 out of the ground. I can't believe it's small enough to fall through the holes in my scoop. It's a little scoop. Sounds like big as the Empire State Building. I see it's a piece of a little swivel off a fishing rig. Oh, it's a piece of copper. That's why it fell through.
Christ.
I've been digging on this for three or four minutes. The 12 12. But I haven't been able to get it out. I'll get back to you when I do. I gotta take Chris out to eat again. And it's like 4.15 now, so I gotta run. I'll get back to you tomorrow. You know with me when there's a spin in gold, there's gotta be a knife or so. This is a knife from one of my restaurants, the Mexican place that I do the knives for. I dropped some knives off there yesterday. And he wanted one of them back today, so I dropped it off today. And he gave me this one right here. He said, this is our lemon and lime knife. It's just a regular old Dexter. But I've never sharpened it for him before. I always do his big chef's knives. He said, I want you to make it as sharp as you can. I said, okay. Well, I'll fix it up for you in a few minutes. But that's not all the knives for today. All right, there's a roundup. 22s, two quarters, 61 nickel. A cool old lighter. And a rolling rock. No, not rolling rock, bowl rock. Whatever that is. And my teeth. Going back in Mar. Wait a minute, I'm not finished yet. These are the other knives I was telling you about. I had a guy bring me a whole block of Hinkles today. I mean, uh, Wusloffs. Seven kitchen knives and six steak knives. This is, that's not it. That's the six of these, they're steak knives. And six assorted other knives. Big Chef's knives. Santuco. You know, the whole block. Thirteen pieces. 14 counting the scissors. So I'll be busy in the morning and then I'll go to the bay. Hopefully some more yellow will appear. You never can tell about yellow. Hey boo boo, what you doing? Are you starving to death? I thought so. I'll see you boo boo.